Humpback whales are uh, formerly abundant, globally distributed species found in all the major uh, oceans of the world. But they were hunted intensively during the last two centuries, and many of these populations were reduced and, and some may have well been eliminated. Because they tend to come back to the same place every winter, because they tend to be quite slow moving, they have always been a prime target for commercial whaling. And for decades, tens and tens and tens of thousands of large whales were killed. The technology of sail whaling came here and the Tongans hadn't known about whaling before. So although it was commercially not much of a success here in Tonga, what it did do was introduce subsistence whaling to the Tongan culture. And it took an entire village to not only help, help sustain the hunt, but also when the whale was brought back to the village, it seemed like the entire animal was used by the village and the entire community would benefit. But what has been very encouraging is to meet this new generation of Tongans who are involved in whale watching, not whale killing. 20 years of research have shown us that the population was very close to going to extinction here in Tonga, maybe as few as 10 adult females coming back every year. And so the king's decision to stop whaling in 1978 has really saved this population from extinction. For example, in Fiji, where there were once humpbacks in numbers pretty similar to Tonga, they've just never gone back there. It seems that the, the whalers of the 1950s and 60s probably killed just about every last Fijian whale on the feeding grounds. And that's tragic, not just for um, the whales, but also for the Fijian economy, because it's deprived them of uh, the millions of dollars worth of tourist revenue and economic benefit to Fijians. When you realize that a humpback whale in Tonga can generate up to one or even maybe now two million dollars through its lifetime in tourist revenues, then this is something really well worth guarding because it doesn't just provide a feast for a couple of days and then it's gone. It's an enduring legacy and an enduring encouragement to protect the whales and the environment they live in, which is so special. I am optimistic for humpback whales in the near future. I am, I'm actually optimistic about whales uh, in, in the Southern Ocean that over the next century, and it will take nearly that long, whale populations have the potential to return.